Last week, we talked about adding decimals. This week, it's all about subtraction. That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, like I said in the intro, Karina, it's all about subtracting decimals now. And if you haven't seen you know, the discussion on digits and decimal places, plus the discussion in that and adding decimals, which is really important for this discussion today, click right here on the i button if you're watching on YouTube so you can catch up, all right? And before we do that, just a quick little if you want to help support this channel and our cost to democratize education in the Philippines, one way that you can do that is through buying our merch, like this hoodie that I'm wearing right now. It's actually very comfortable at talagang ano ba, favorite ko rin isuot. So for those of you who already got yours, maraming salamat. Uh, you can go to shop.teamlika.com if you're interested. And again, thank you for helping me help more people through this channel. All right, now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to switch over to my PC. I'll see you in a bit. All right, so ito yung discussion natin on subtracting decimals. This is very important kasi uh, marami mga problems, hindi lang yung direct na equation, pati na rin sa word problems that deal with decimals. And if we're not comfortable with solving problems like this, mahihirapan tayo, okay? Now, ang una nating sample is this. This is a very simple problem. Sabi niya, 4.56 minus 1.23. Now, much like yung lesson natin sa adding decimals, which we talked about before, and again, nakalink siya dito sa i button sa taas, if you're watching on YouTube, yung subtracting decimals starts with aligning the numbers. So, kung meron akong 4.56, ibababa ko muna siya. Tapos, minus natin yung nasa uh, right side, which is 1.23, making sure na yung mga decimal ay magkatapat. Okay, so kung dun yung decimal, isusunod lang natin yung numbers, and now you have it like this. Okay, again, very important, naka-align dapat yung decimal. Kung nasaan banda yung nasa taas, nandun din dun sa ilalim. Okay, and now that we have that, we can start solving. Now, when we solve numbers, pagdating lalo na sa addition and subtraction, we always start doon sa right. Alright, so dun muna tayo sa pinakadulong column sa right. Kasi, ang step number 2 is to subtract the digits from right to left. So, dun muna tayo sa 6 minus 3. Now, 6 minus 3 is going to give us 3. So, yun yung una nating number na nasa dulo ng sagot natin. Move tayo dun sa second column. We have 5 minus 2, which is going to give us 3 pa rin. So, that's another 3. Tapos, dahil meron tayong decimal sa taas, decimal sa baba, ito yung place ng ating decimal point, ilalagay na natin yung decimal point dyan. And now, we have yung first column, 4 minus 1 is going to give us 3. So, the answer here is 3.33. Okay? So, again, two steps lang. Number 1, align the numbers. And number 2, subtract it from right to left. Okay? Importante yon. Una sa right, papunta sa left. Now, paano naman kung ganito yung ating problem? You have 3.46 minus 1.95. Now, again, first step is to align the numbers. So, you just put yung 3.46 dyan, minus. Tapos yung 1.95, itatapat natin yung decimal point here. And ito rin, isusunod natin. Okay? And now, we have to start solving. Now, again, Parang per column pa rin yan. We are going to start with the right side. We have to subtract yung nasa right na column muna. So, 6 minus 5. Wala naman masyadong problema dyan. That is just 1. Now, dito tayo sa second column magkakaroon ng um, uh, struggle. Sabihin na natin, if you're not too comfortable with subtracting numbers. Pero, kailangan lang natin balikan yung rules natin sa regular na subtraction. Okay? Huwag muna natin isipin yung decimal point. Isipin muna natin, anong gagawin ko if in case this is 346 minus 195. Now, when we're subtracting numbers, di ba ang ginagawa natin is we're going to borrow or regroup things. So, yung 3 na ito, ang mangyayari sa kanya, instead of 3, babawasan natin ito ng isa. Okay, so itong 3 na ito, magiging 2 na siya. Okay, this will be 2. Tapos, itong 4, magiging 14 siya. Okay, so isipin natin, again, this will be 14, kukunin natin yung 1 dito sa number sa left. Okay, that way, 14 minus 9 is going to give us 5. 
Okay? And now we have 2 minus 1, which is going to be 1. But again, don't forget na dahil ito ang decimal point, ito ang decimal point, itatapat din natin yung decimal sa final answer right here before we do it. So 2 minus 1 is 1. So the answer is 1.51. Again, ganun lang din siya. Nagbaborrow tayo minsan or nag regroup tayo ng numbers depende sa kung ano yung number na nasa ilalim. Kapag hindi siya pwede for minus 9 at magiging negative ang sagot, hihiram tayo dun sa left side. Okay? Now, ito yung ginagawa natin when we're subtracting decimals. Alright? Now, for those of you listening and saying na, ay, naku, hindi pa po tinuturo ng teacher namin yung tungkol sa negative numbers. Huwag niyo muna masyadong uh, i-worry yon If you're younger, nasa grade maybe 3 or 4 uh, watching this, we will talk, talk about that naman din sa series natin on integers and makocover nyo yan when you get a little bit older. Okay? So, ang importante again is you're going to take from the number on the left. Okay? Alright, now, paano naman kung ganito? We have 1.2 minus 0 0.06. Now, if we realign natin sila, you have 1.2 minus, tapos yung decimal point nandyan, itatapat natin dito, 0 0.06. And if you look at the columns, dito sa right side, walang number nakatapat. So, anong gagawin natin dyan? Now, ang step 2 natin is to, su to subtract the digits from right to left. Kapag walang digit dito, ilalagay lang natin yung 0. Again, the idea is, much like yung natin sa addition, lahat ng mga decimals, merong mga 0 yan na nandito sa right side niya. Pero hindi na natin sinusulat kung hindi naman kailangan. So, yung 1.2 at 1.20 ay equal. Pareho lang sila. Huwag natin kakalimutan yun kasi kapag namali tayo ng tapat, dun sa column natin, mag-iiba ng sagot. Okay? So, dito muna tayo sa pinaka-right. You have 0 minus 6. Now, hindi pwede yun. So, magbaborrow tayo dito sa second column. Yung 2, magiging 1 na lang siya. At yung 0 now becomes 10. Okay? So, 10 minus 6 is 4. Now, after that, the next column, hindi na siya 2. 1 na lang siya. So, 1 Minus 0 is 1. Tapos, ibababa natin yung decimal point dahil pareho na silang nandun. Dito na natin siya ilalagay. And then you have, dito sa column na ito, 1 minus 0 which is going to give us 1. So, the answer is 1.14. Alright? Now, now to solve this, I'm going to offer you two options. Okay? Yung una is to solve it kagaya nung ginawa natin kanina. So, isusulat ko lang siya as 3 minus, tapos yung decimal point, ba? Ang 3 kasi is like 3.0. So, nandito yung decimal point niya. Itatapat ko lang din dito yung decimal point ng isa pang number. You have 0 0.1234. Okay? And now, dahil walang katapat ito dun sa taas, lalagyan lang natin siya ng mga 0. Kasi nga, again, ang 3.0000 ay 3 lang din naman. Now that we have that, we can start solving. Okay? Alright, so magsustart tayo sa pinaka-right. You have 0 minus 4. Hindi pwede. So, maghihiram tayo dito. Yung 0, magiging 9. Maghihiram tayo uli dito. Okay, yung 0, magiging 9 uli. This will also be 9. And then, eventually, this will be 2. Okay? So, now you have 2, 9, 9, 9. And then, this becomes 10. Okay. Now, nire-group lang natin siya. Okay? So, now you have 10 minus 4, which is going to give us 6. 9 minus 3, which is going to give us another 6. 9 minus 2, which is going to give us 7. And then you have 9 minus 1, which is going to give us 8. Tapos point. And then you have 2 minus 0, which is going to give us 2. So, the answer is 2.876. Okay, so again, it's a lot like just subtracting numbers. Yung rules pa rin pag sa pagbabaro, apply. But, remember and be mindful sa kung saan natin nilalagay yung ating decimal point. So, dapat nakatapat siya. Okay? Now, I have another option sa kung paano to isolve. Let me show you that. Ang gagawin lang natin is ia-align uli natin siya. So, you have 3. And then you have 0. 0.1234. To subtract lang natin siya. So, ito yung ginawa natin kanina, right? May apat na zero. Now, I have a speed technique on subtracting numbers. 
that is something that I explained dun sa YouTube video natin uh, before. I-link ko na lang din dito sa taas if you're watching on YouTube so you can find it sa i button. But the idea is, kapag may mga numbers na ganito na puro zero yung dulo para hindi tayo mahirapan na isolve siya, one of the things that we can do is babawasan ko lang ito ng isa at babawasan ko din ito ng isa. Okay? Now, ano mangyayari nun? Yung, again, huwag muna natin isipin yung decimal, ha? mamaya natin siya ilalapag. Yung 30,000, kung totoo sa'yo, no? 30,000, babawasan ko ng isa. Ang mangyayari dyan, mag-iiba ito. Magiging, ano siya, 2, 9, 9, 9, 9. Okay? So, ganyan ko na siya isulat. Tapos, yung ginawa ko sa taas, nag-minus 1 ako doon, ima-minus 1 ko rin dito. So, instead of 0, 0.1234, okay, dahil nito yung decimal place, itatapat ko, magiging 0.1233. At yan yung isosolve ko. Okay? Now again, binawasan ko lang ng isa sa taas, binawasan ko ng isa sa baba. Isa dun sa dulong dulo. Okay? So, this will be 2.9999 minus 0.1233 instead of 1234. Now, bakit ko ito ginagawa, lalo na kapag mental math? Kasi mas madali siya isolve. Kasi hindi ko na kailangan mag-borrow. Okay? Bakit? If you look at 9, minus 3, dahil ang 9 na ang pinakamataas na number, di ba? Sa bawat slot. So, ang 9 minus 3 is just 6. 9 minus 3 is another 6. 9 minus 2 is 7. 9 minus 1 is 8. Point. And then, 2 minus 0 is 2. If you notice, the answer is still the same as yung kanina. Without yung bother ng pagbabaro. Okay? Kasi kanina, ginawa natin, di ba? Ginawa natin itong 10. This will be 9. 9, 9, and 2. And the answer is the same. 6, 6, 7, 8, 2. So, kung ayaw nyo gawin itong buong process na ito, you can subtract 1 sa taas, subtract 1 sa baba to get the answer. Bonus lang na content. Kung naguluhan dito, mas comfortable dito sa first option, you can stick with that. All right, all right. It's time for your quick quiz. And I'm going to give you time to solve these problems, and then at the end of the allotted time, we solve that in together. So if you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now. Alright, let's see how you did. Alright, let's start with number 1. Sabi, 7.65 minus 2.42. Pwede natin siya isulat like this. 7.65 minus 2.42. We're going to start with the first column sa right. So, 5 minus 2 is 3. 6 minus 4 is 2. Decimal place, magkatapat na. So, ibababa lang natin siya. And then, you have 7 minus 2, which is 5. This is very easy. It's 5.23 for number 1. Okay. Now, dito na tayo dun sa medyo mas tricky ng konti. You have yung problem number 2. 12.5 minus 4.01. Now, kung isusulat natin siya ulit, ipagtatapat lang natin. You have 12.5 minus 4.01. Okay, this time, yung 4.01 natin, dun sa pinaka-right na column, wala siyang katapat. So, again, ang gagawin lang natin, maglalagi lang tayo ng 0 dito. And now we can start solving. So, 12.50 minus 4.01. 0 minus 1, hindi pwede. So, again, magiging 10 ito. Magbaborrow tayo or hihiram tayo. Magre-regroup tayo dito. Magiging yung 50 parang 4 plus 10. 40 plus 10 siya. Kaya ganyan yung pagkakasulat natin. So, 10 minus 1 is 9. 4 minus 0 is 4. Decimal place. So, lalagay na rin natin siya dito. And now you have 2 minus 4. 
Hindi pwede, no? So, magiging 12 na lang. 12 minus 4 is 8. So, the answer is 8.49. Now, in third problem natin, you have 8 minus 4.27. So, again, two options, no? Pwede natin gawin yung 8 minus 4 point, dito yan, magkatapat, 27. So, this will be 0 and another 0. Yeah, so solve natin siya. So, 0 minus 7, hindi pwede. So, this will be 9. Tapos, hihiram din tayo dito. Okay, magiging 7 din siya. And then, this will be 10. Okay? So, now you have 10 minus 7, which is 3. 9 minus 2, which is 7. Copy natin yung decimal place. And now, you have 7 minus 4, which is 3. So, the answer is 3.73. Now, i-try natin yung using yung option na ginamit natin kanina, which is, pag ma-minus 1 ako dito, minus 1 din ako dito. So, yung 8.00 magiging 7.99, or yung 800 magiging 799, no? Kinokopya lang natin yung pwesto ng decimal place. Tapos, yung 4.27, babawasan din natin ng isa. So, magiging 4.27. 26 or 426 siya. Okay? And now we get to solve. So, titinan lang natin. 9 minus 6 is 3. 9 minus 2 is 7. Point 7 minus 4 is 3. 3.73. So, again, pareho naman siya. Either way, whether ginamit nyo yung first method or yung second method, ang importante, pareho yung sagot. Okay? I hope you got all of these correctly. If you didn't, that's okay. I'll be posting more questions na lang on my Instagram account. So, if you don't follow me yet, you can follow me at Laika Maravillo on Instagram. And uh, doon natin pinapost sa quick quiz function natin sa Instagram story, mga bago mga questions that I come up with. You can also follow at Team Laika naman on Instagram for the throwback quick quizzes. We have so many questions na binabalik namin. Uh, para sa inyo, lalo na sa mga bago members ng Team Laika, welcome to the team. Follow us on Instagram too. And if you have a TikTok account, you can follow me then. I have two accounts at Team Laika for the educational videos. Quick quizzes then I post at least one every day. So you can follow me at Team Laika on, on TikTok. And kung gusto naman mas personal na mga bagay, motivational videos, tips and advice, you can find me then on TikTok at Laika Maravilla. Okay? See you online. Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends. Lalo na kung mag-exam din sila. Dato yung mas marami tayong matutulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers that I may join the online or live review events. You can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika for more information. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit that bell icon and turn your notifications on para ma-receive niyo yung updates kapag ready na yung mga susunod nating videos. You have more coming up. And as we always say sa channel na to, never stop learning. Adja, adja. Kaya niya yan. I'll see you in the next video and bye for now. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. If you're interested to learn more, there's a new video right here that you can watch. And you can also subscribe to my second channel right here by clicking that face right there to get to know me a little bit better. See you soon.